Tony's my time, it's my time with Tony. Me, I'm Tony, and these are the mods. My time. Welcome to my time with Tony for Tuesday, March 22nd. Got some interesting mods today. Let's get right to it. Start off with a couple updates. We have an update to the Stratman SEK from Achi Mobile and an update to the Hay Storage Achi Mobile one. We got automatic tensioning straps and improved end loading and loading position. So little tweaks here and there for the little Stroutman. And the hay storage added some capacity, added grass and silage, some lights. 500,000 liter capacity for each of these now. Very good addition. Make sure you update that one. On to the new stuff today. We got the Nafaz trailer. 34,000 for 48,000 liters. Not a bad bargain there. This looks somewhat like the South American style trailers. I do like to look at these. They are a good price. Different color options. Got the nice tire up there. Good looking mod. Next we got fuel warning sound. If you're like me, who runs out of gas occasionally. This will give you a warning when you're at 20%. Again, I'd like these a little bit lower. Maybe like 10% would be nice on these. Um, but it works for diesel, methane, and electric. You'll get a little warning down here. It's so running out of gas. Another mod that you don't think you need, but it's going to help you with quality of life. Fuel level warning. Fast night. Don't really understand this one. Somebody can explain to me what this does, but night pass faster than you think. This gives you options on your menu to change the... Uh, settings for your time scale between day and night so the example in this picture that's 80 time at 2200 or 800 at 23 so it's basically like a a timer for the game when it clicks onto a certain time the speed will go faster and then when it goes back to another time it'll slow down not sure what this is used for somebody can explain it to me but it's out there Now we got some maps mingled in here. Clarkson US, been out on PC for a while. Seen some people playing it. It is a gigantic map. This field right here is, I think about a thousand acres is what we've decided on. All these fields are gigantic. If you're into big farming, you got the poor gold stuff now, you might get through it, but a thousand acres. Whew. It is a beautiful map. I have seen somebody playing this, but again, not my style, but if you like the big farming, maybe a good multiplayer map. There's Clarkson US 4K. PC and Mac only. Next we have Bank Manager. Another interesting mod. I like these little quirks in the settings. So you can take out repair loan, uh, just the loan interest rate or the equity ratio, just the balance, current credit amount. Um, basically this gives you settings. You can change your balance. A lot of us do that with power tools, but you can add money there. Um, your loan ratio, your loan amount, so you don't have to spam the square button or whatever button you use to do it 5,000 at a time. You can adjust your account balance here. Um, loan interest rate, change your loan interest rate, higher interest if you want to punish yourself a little bit. Uh, different limits, upper and lowers for your credit. So if you want to do three million, you may want to do five million. Gives you that option. I think it's fantastic for the realism. MX11, obviously PC and Mac only. Next we have a weight. You guys have seen a weight. We have the Entercon E115 EP2. These are turbines. And the big sticker shock on these is 2.3, 2.5, and 2.7 million. But this does pay, it's a big one, $11,000 per hour. So it's a big upfront cost, but you are going to make a ton of money after a while. Make yourself a wind farm, people. Next we got Scan to Agra Big Bags. Mineralizer, Fertilizer, Big Bags. More branded bags. Your Cali Plus, your PK Plus. PC Mac only. We got Stratman. It's a forge wagon. 
95 grand, 40,000 liters. I mean, it's a forge wagon. It's a Stratman. Next, we got a weighing station. $65,000. can weigh your vehicles on there. Seems like a high price for me for weighing your vehicles. I haven't understood how the weighing factors into the game yet. I'm sure it has purpose. But if you want to weigh your vehicles, here you go. All platforms, by the way. Next, we got a slurry tank, fourteen thousand dollars, eleven meter working width, and eight thousand liter capacity. It's obviously going to be for your smaller farms, but it is a Marshall, like a different brand here and there. Small slurry tank, looks fantastically done. The hoses look great. All platforms. Now we got some stuff. Lizard Pop, six X, six meter, forty-two thousand dollars, ten kilometers per hour poplar header. So this was in nineteen. A big six meter poplar header. This makes doing poplars bearable. VSR modding. Vanquish 081. VSR modding makes good stuff. So, see the correct brand for correct attachments. So, you're going to have to kind of pair them up. You got color settings and design configuration and color wheels. But six meter poplar headers, fantastic for all platforms. Next, we got the Kramer KL200, $5,000, only 18 horsepower. This is going to be a little yard tractor. I don't know if it's going to be able to pull this trailer fully loaded. Apparently, they got it to work. But move things around the yard. Maybe use it to help take care of the animals. But 18 horsepower, it's a great looking tractor, EY modding. Next, we got a sign pack. Not going to mess with that. Lizard PN20 slash 1. 3 grand. 31 horsepower. 3 meter working width. It is a slurry tank. 3 meters. It's going to be for your Kramer tractors, your C tours, your Porsche diesels. A 3 meter slurry tank. Doesn't say the capacity. That would be nice to know. Next, we got a Fent 1100 MT. 385 grand, 511 horsepower. Your big boy goes up to 673 on the Vario 1167. A lot of nice animations, colors, US EU. Beautiful looking inside of the cab, but it's going to be your track vehicle there. This is your big boy, 673. And we got the Activa 7347. 200 grand, 8,600 liters. Not a bad price for that. 49,000 for the header, which is, I think, a little bit expensive. Good medium sized harvester. Does it want the Masseys? Get the Activa now. All platforms. Next, we got the Emily Pack. We've had some of these in 19. We got mixing buckets from 4,200 to 7,500 liters. 22,000 to 36,000. We got a self propelled machine for bedding and cleaning the stable which I don't know how that's used anymore because we don't clean the stable. You got the Volcan Volcano Trailed Straw Blower for 25 grand and Sigma Straw Blower for 22. So there's your Trailed, there's your Telescopic, there's your Cleaner. Again, we don't use that brush anymore. So I don't know how that's going to work, but it's Straw Blower nonetheless. There's your Buckets. Very interesting equipment. I do like it. Next, we got another map. The Hills of Slovenia, brought over from 19 by White Bull Modding. All the objects of the farm are redone. New textures. A main farm, cow, sheep, and pigs. 44 fields, small and irregular. It's got hills, obviously. The Hills of Slovenia. Special made store and a lot of different selling points. Forestry work. I think this map kind of looks beautiful, to be honest. The different buildings are nice. It's very crisp. Some kind of shader she's got on there, but these these buildings look amazing. Not your biggest map. Again, it's gonna be a small equipment playthrough, but I do like to look at this map. If I ever go back to small equipment, we'll definitely be looking this one up. Next we got the easy way station and fruit shop. This one I, I am a fan of this one. So it's an easy way station. You get needed supplies while also keeping an eye on weight. It's also got a Vehicle cleaning station. It's a Karcher. Interesting thing on this is 
down here, you can spend 12000 at the beginning, 32000 or 42000 If you go to the low end, the initial upfront cost, you pay 10% more for your products. If you go to 42, the high upfront cost, you get a 30% discount on your products. So are you short term? Are you long term? Beautiful scales, big, huge numbers on those scales, multiple points. Buy everything and way and clean. I think this is great. It looks amazing. If weights mean anything, this is the thing I want to get. Mantra and agricultural design, well done. All platforms. Wide range of fruits, custom mat fruits, bulk production liquids, sprayer supplies, and slurry. So you can pretty much buy anything you want there. Well done. Next, we've got a self made bale fork. Moving on. Placeable storage stylo. Earth shop at VSR mining, been busy. 18 grand, pretty cheap, 240,000 liter capacity by product. This does look great. It does have a sort of a large footprint with this grate over here. You can see it is kind of wide. It is cheap and you can hold all your stuff in there. It's a well done looking mod. Footprint's a little large, but again, it is a fantastic mod. We got a front cultivator, four meters, 80 horsepower required, 8,200 bucks. You want to use this to cultivate the front, seat in the back with that coon. Fantastic mod. Two things at once, all platforms. Next, we got another self made bucket with forks. Moving on. We got a modern, modern house, not a horse. It is a sleep trigger, it is a neat looking map. I mean, house, excuse me, with a sleep trigger. 50,000 bucks. It ain't cheap. Let's put it that way. Next, we got the Frankenmuth map by Taylor Farms. This has been out on PC for a while. It is now out on console. There's 41 fields, small to large, three farms on the map. You got to buy the land first. Two small forest areas, water, 100 wooden toys, a bunch of collectibles on here. Multiple sell points in production on the map. No BGA. So if you want a BGA, make sure to add one. Mostly flat. Some rolling hills, valleys. It does play flat. It plays bigger than it looks for console. So if you're on console and you want a bigger size map, this does play bigger. This does have ditches. So if you want to think about that, you do have to be careful of those ditches. You will get stuck. It's just a good map. Here's your PDA. I had played on this map on PC. I did enjoy it. Uh, my advice would be to go explore this area over here. There's some fun stuff over here. Won't spoil it, but go look over there. Like I said, these are big fields. They play big. Um, various different spots to start from here, here, and here. Cell points all around. It is a fantastic map. I know Taylor Farms has been trying to get this on console for you guys for a long time. He has put in a ton of effort. Go download this map. Give it the five stars. See if we can give it the five stars now. I'm gonna download it first. It's a fantastic map. I have played on it. If you're on console, definitely download this map. Then the big thing today is we got the Antonio Carrero pack. We did show these off on our early access on Friday. Two, four, six, eight, ten tractors. They are reverse drive, some of these. So pay attention when you get these. A lot of them are reverse drive. Play around with that, drive backwards, have fun. Some cool tractors. Do your grapes, your olives. They are good farm tractors. You can mow with these. There are some good mods out there that will pair up with these nicely. If you're curious about some of those, go to the VOD from Friday. Check those out. But I think today, if we're going to award a gold medal, I think this is a good day of mods. Some very cool mods are contenders for our gold medal. I think Bank Manager is very good. Um, the Poplar. Obviously, anything to help poplars is good. This way station in, in Buy Point is fantastic. But today, we're going to give the gold medal to Frankenmuth Farms. Finally getting this out on Council. I'm very happy that it's out there. I think Council players are going to love this map. Jump on it. If you like this video, jump on that like button. If you really liked it, hit that sub button. Tell your friends. We will be back with mod time tomorrow. Hopefully we'll get as good mods as we got today. Until tomorrow, guys, take care.